In the last couple of weeks, we have looked at Chelsea's bench for the 2012 Champions League final and the Dortmund bench for the 2013 Champions League final, and we've received a pretty positive reaction to what we're calling our 7 sub series. Today, we remain in the Champions League, and whilst it isn't a final this time, it was a famous night for Celtic FC. In front of more than 55,000 fans, the Hoops beat a world-class Barcelona side en route to making the Champions League knockout stages, something they haven't repeated since. Barcelona had the likes of Gerard Piquet, Cesc Fabregas and David Villa on their bench that day, but who did Neil Lennon have to call upon? Well, here are Celtic subs for their 2-1 win over Barcelona. Where are they now? Lucas Zaluska, Pogon Stechen. A nice, easy to pronounce club name to start me off with, of course. Once capped Polish goalkeeper Lukas Zaluska spent six years at Parkhead, during which time he played less than 30 league games. A backup for the likes of Arta Borak and Craig Gordon, it was Fraser Forster who wore the number one shirt for the majority of Zaluska's time in Glasgow, and he was the man between the sticks against Barcelona. Zaluska left Celtic in 2015, and now aged 35, he is currently back in Poland, facing a relegation fight with that team whose name I quite clearly can't pronounce. Paddy McCaw, Finn Harms. The second man on the Celtic bench for that famous win over Barcelona was Northern Irish winger Paddy McCaw. Another bit part player who spent five seasons with the Hoops, having arrived from Derry, McCourt won five trophies at Parkhead before moving south of the border to Barnsley in 2013. Since 2017, the 34-year-old international has been playing for Finn Harps in the League of Ireland. John Heron, Ray Throvers. You can probably tell by now that the Celtic bench was a pretty star-studded one, and it's no wonder that the starting 11 gave Messi and Co a run for their money. Up next is John Heron, who was only 18 at the time and a Scotland under-21 international. Heron showed promise as a youngster, but the attacking midfielder only ever made two first-team appearances for Celtic and doesn't look likely to win a senior cap for Scotland. Now aged 24, Heron is currently playing for Wraith Rovers in the third tier of Scottish football, having previously turned out for Blackpool and Dunfermline. Tony Watt, free agent. Probably the biggest fall from grace in this seven, this match got tongues wagging about Celtic youngster Tony Watt. Introduced as a 72nd minute substitute, he beat Victor Valdez after just 10 minutes on the pitch to score the telling goal for the Glasgow club. What was just 17 when he scored that goal, but 6 years on, he is 24 and without a club. A talented player with good technique, Watt has been accused of having a poor attitude and looking uninterested at times in his career. He left Celtic just 6 months after scoring against the best team on the planet and has been out of contract since leaving Belgian second tier side Leuven, who were managed by former Leicester City boss Nigel Pearson. Berem Kyle, Brighton and Hove Albion. The player whose career looks in the best shape of all those in this seven, not that there's a great deal of competition, in third is Israeli international Berem Kyle. A semi regular for Celtic for more than four seasons, Kyle joined Brighton in the Championship in January 2015. He made 20 appearances as the Seagulls won promotion to the Premier League last term, and he has made 11 in the top flight so far this season. He was the only other sub to feature against Barca, coming on as a 79th minute substitute for Georgios Samaras. Marcus Fraser, Ross County. Another former Scottish youth international who failed to step up to the first team at Celtic Park and has never won a full cap for the national team, Marcus Fraser was also 17 when the Hoops overcame Barcelona. The fresh-faced centre-back made only two appearances for his boyhood club, departing for Ross County in 2015. Now aged 23, Fraser is still with the Scottish Premiership bottom place side, with whom he has amassed more than 100 league appearances. Dylan McGuff, Hibernian. Also currently plying his trade in Scotland's top flight, having won promotion from the Scottish Championship last season, Dylan McGuff played slightly more football for Celtic. He too was capped by Scotland at various youth levels, and he too left Parkhead in 2015, but prior to his departure, the right winger made 27 appearances for the Hoops. 15 of those came in the 2012-13 season, when he was only 20 years old. Now aged 25, McGuff is currently in his fourth season with Hibs, and he has been a key player in a good season for the fourth placed outfit. So that's it for the top 7. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7.